rest in the goodness of God. Hello, welcome to Pastor's Perspective. So God sent his son Jesus. And I'll tell you, we have seen time and time again, God, you know, setting people free. Oh, well, thank you very much for your answer. Hey, Art, what's up? You had a question about King Solomon? Yeah, I got a story about a uh, question about King Solomon. I was doing a Bible study the other night, and you know they say he's one of the wisest men in the Bible, but then he had like three hundred wives and seven hundred concubines. <laughs> I'm just curious what, because I go that's kind of like anti what we're taught today. That's not very wise to have three hundred wives and <laughs> three hundred mothers-in-law. I mean, yeah. you know, who who knows what this guy was thinking? But Bobby, what do you say to Art? Well. It's a good example, Art, of a person who can have wisdom but not apply it. Typically, when we think of wisdom, we think of practical knowledge uh, that is lived. But the fact is, is we can have wisdom on what to do, and we do, we do this all the time as humans. Uh, anybody who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it sins. In other words, anybody who has wisdom and doesn't apply it, sins. And so Solomon is just a classic example of somebody who had a ton of wisdom and didn't live out uh, proportionately to what he knew. And I think that the challenge to all of us is to remember that uh, we do the same thing in different arenas of our life. Uh, we know as husbands uh, how we're supposed to treat our spouses, but maybe we're tired and we're irritable, or we know as parents how we're to raise our kids, but maybe we're on edge, or we know as Christians that we're supposed to tithe, but you know uh, it gets tight financially in our lives. We know that we're to protect our thought life, but somebody walks by and we can't uh, resist. And so we know a lot of things that are good for us that would be properly called wisdom, but we don't do all that we know. And Solomon was your classic example of somebody who was bestowed with great wisdom by God, wiser mm -hmm. than anyone before him, but also it goes to show you can be really wise and live really foolish. Mm -hmm. And that is a catastrophe in the sight of God. Richard? Yeah, it's the Bible says it's one thing to know what's right. It's another thing to do it. And um, to know yeah. it and not do it is sin. And, uh, you know, God made it really clear in Deuteronomy chapter 17 when he's speaking about kings. He says, only he must not acquire many horses for himself or cause the people to return to Egypt in order to acquire many horses. Well, Solomon did exactly what God said not to do. Um, and then in Deuteronomy 17, 17, and he shall not acquire many wives for himself, lest his heart turn away. And Solomon did exactly what God said not to do. And, um, and then he says, and nor shall he acquire for himself excessive silver and gold. But when you read in the historical books the, the, the amount of wealth that he accumulated, I can't remember which precious metal it was, but Bobby, you might help me here with an address or the, the exact one, but I think it's like silver was like stones okay. in, in, in the land. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. that's the deal. It's to know it, it's one thing to have, have biblical information, it's another thing to actually apply yourself to it. And it says, and when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, he shall write for himself in a book a copy of this law, and it shall be with him, and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God by keeping all the words of this law and these statutes and doing them, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brothers. All right. Let me go back to Art real quick. Does this uh, help you, Art? Yeah, it helps a lot. Basically, he's like... God, he uses unperfect people all the time. I mean, you know, that's just an example. He uses unperfect people all the time. And uh, obviously, King Psalm was not perfect. It was the only one perfect human that was Jesus. So that's my take on it. I don't know. What do you think? Guys? Bobby? I agree. Jesus is the only perfect human. God in the flesh. Thank you for calling us today on Pastor's Perspective. What's up? Hey, thank you so much for watching. Bobby Conway here at Pastor's Perspective. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and make a comment. See you next time.